gosh, he's getting tight. <laughs> and again, he's not trying to choke me. He's just getting tight because he's hanging on like I'm a tree. Hey, good morning everybody. Welcome to the vlog. It is so good to be back. Although I'm back, I'm still not 100% and I am still cheering around a little friend of mine named Gerardia, which is the parasite. But today I get medication to hopefully rid myself of this parasitic craziness. <laughs> Oh, and by the way, if anyone's ever looking to lose a quick 10 or 12 pounds in a short period of time, I think Gertie is a really good choice because uh, I tell you, you'll drop weight like no problem. I may actually make a weight loss tablet with a little parasite in it because trust me, you'll lose some weight quick. <laughs> it is heading to the pharmacy now to pick up my parasite treatment. <laughs> this is awesome. Okay, so one thing you guys may not know about me is I hate taking medications. I hate all of it. That's why I don't do drugs. That's why I don't take aspirin. I don't like to take anything. But when you have a parasite swimming around and this giardia is in my body, I have no choice but to take some anti-parasite thing to kill it. Now, I have to take this fun stuff here and they say it makes you feel kind of terrible for about 12 to 24 hours. So. That's the way my life is going to be. But the good news is the doctor tells me that one shot of this, which is actually four pills, believe it or not, you got to take four pills at once. And they, he says that once you take these four pills, you may feel bad for 12 to 24 hours, but it kills the parasites and you basically should feel good. So the fact that I've been feeling bad for the last almost two weeks has to do with this parasite. And once I take these and it kills the parasite and it gets out of my body, I should be back to my normal self, which is great news, right? But anyways, it's going to be a a little bit of an interesting day. The other side effect they say is it makes you taste like you're you're sucking on a penny, like a coppery taste in your mouth. And uh, so this is going to be an interesting day. I hope you guys don't mind that I'm bringing you along on this journey, but uh, let's go ahead and take these four pills. Oh, I'm nervous, guys. Ah, down the hatch. Here we go. <laughs> Before I start feeling terrible, maybe I should go work with animals for a little while. What do you guys think? You guys remember that I showed off my little froggy? Well, come here, little buddy. Look at this little guy. Oh, oh <laughs> crazy dog. Look at this guy. He's so cute. I asked you guys what name should I name my frog? And I tell you what. Look. And you guys came up with so many awesome names. I love Jabba for Jabba the Hutt. I love Freddy the Frog. I love, I mean, you guys had so many things, but there's no doubt that there was one winner, hands above the rest. So I want you guys to officially meet Snoop Frog. You don't love me, you just love my doggy style. That's right, his name is Snoop Frog. <laughs> I absolutely love that name. But for the people that came up with it, you guys are awesome, thank you so much. As I mentioned a couple days ago, colubrids were coming out of hibernation. We don't have a ton of them up yet. I mean, I haven't been around, so it's been hard for Lori and everyone else to kind of keep things together. But it's kind of cool to start to see things coming up. Obviously, this is an Arizona mountain king snake, uh, which are the Pyro Milano, which is really cool. We have a bunch of California kings up, like, like these guys here. Uh, you know, even just like a hypo cow king here, which is really beautiful. And, uh, you know, these guys are all going to be ready to eat within a couple days, you know. I mean, it's uh, it's warm here, so usually give them three or four days, give them a small meal to get their digestive system going, and then we start to increase. Here's uh, like an albino high white California king saying, this is just like the, the one that uh, ate itself, Ouroboros. Uh, as a matter of fact, this is probably its mother, to be totally honest with you. So uh, it's just cool to see these guys back out of hibernation again. We even got garter snakes up now, which is really cool. Again, they're live bears. Oh, this is a cool one. This is uh, what they call a granite or patternless checkered garter snake. And we actually bred albinos to them. So this year we've got some albino double heads. So we should have albino patternless or granite animals, which is really cool. And of course, then we have like Mexican black king snakes, which are always one of my favorites for sure. And we have a whole new group of those guys up to size this year. So we should have a lot more because I know a lot of people that are interested in snakes are always like, you always 
Ah, oh, the Mexican Black Kings. We produced quite a few. We probably produced about 200 last year, but they sell so quick. So this year, with any luck, we'll maybe double that production, which is pretty cool. So uh, anyways, regardless, I'm excited Colubrids are out. You know, guys, this is a snake that I really just don't show off nearly enough because it is an absolutely gorgeous snake. It's a male Maclots python. These are an Indonesian python that are just kind of an unusual animal. Again, you just don't see them around too much. And this particular one is just dog tame and he's just a great, great animal. And as a matter of fact, I know I always ask you guys this and I've had him for two or three years now and, and I've never named him. And, and now, I guess now that I'm starting to do the zoo and with vlog, vlogging all the time and being able to say, hey guys, here's Daisy or here's, you know, this or that or whatever. It's kind of nice to have names for animals. So I need your help once again, again, to help me name Mr. Maclots Python here. Because again, he's a super cool animal and he's one that I'd like you guys to get to know because it's a really cool animal. And oftentimes when I'm doing like educational shows and stuff like that, I want to show off animals that are a little bit more unusual. You know, you can always see a Burmese Python or a reticulate python or oh my gosh he's getting tight <laughs> and again he's not trying to choke me he's just getting tight because he's hanging on like I'm a tree but uh, you know I like sometimes to bring really unusual animals that people don't see and I can explain to him how cool they are so again Mr. Maclots needs a name other than just Mr. Maclots pythons right I want to talk to you guys about a couple things here one is the fact that you know obviously I, I was really sick for a couple weeks and still not feeling great you know today obviously I took that medication and there's some weird side effects like really bizarre taste in my mouth my stomach is pretty upset I feel kind of lightheaded regardless I'm gonna be a hundred percent fine but it does give me an opportunity to talk to you guys about the fact that you got to be hygienic about things this is completely my fault I've been working with wildlife for 28 years and I know better I know that when you handle stuff you should always wash your hands and, and be as clean as possible and I've been very fortunate over that time as a matter of fact I've been in some third world countries where I've literally drank the water and I've eaten their local foods and I've never gotten a parasite before so really it's kind of dumb luck and I should be smarter than that to be totally honest with you so so for you guys when you're handling any animal whether it's a, a python or a, a, an iguana or a leopard gecko or a bearded dragon you should really wash your hands afterwards you just never know and it's not that reptiles are carrying some huge bacteria problem or some parasitic problem but you never know what's gonna happen so you know learn from from my mistake trust me you don't want to go through what I just went through two weeks of being completely utterly sick as heck and still having to push through life so uh, again just an opportunity for me to talk to you about the fact that you should definitely wash your hands afterwards and stay clean and avoid the, the terrible parasites and go ahead and comment down below let me know what Mr. Maclots name should be or maybe it should just be Mr. Maclots I don't know and guess what guys, I forgot to even mention it, something that was so exciting I completely was happy, even feeling terrible, you guys made me feel great. And that was last night, we hit 200,000 subscribers on the vlog channel. I mean, that is just crazy to me. You know, it's funny, we hit 100,000 subscribers in a few months, and then now I've hit 200,000 subscribers in just a couple of months after that. So thank you guys so much. You guys know that my goal is a million subscribers, but every time we hit a milestone, it's amazing, and I thank you guys so much. Listen, we have a lot of work to do here to hit a million subs, right? I mean, we're a fifth of the way there, but there's a long way to go, and my main channel is almost coming up on 600,000 subs, so I'm even a long way away from that one, but between us guys, the vlog channel actually is growing quite a bit quicker than the main channel, which is fine because I think the vlog is amazing and I'm addicted to it, but without you guys, I could never grow, and thank you so much for this milestone. You guys are amazing, and I love you guys so much. Lori, yeah. got some really exciting news that I can't wait to share with you. Guess what? I'm pregnant. Oh. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. We hit 200,000 subscribers. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. How cool is that, huh? That's very cool. 200, what did you think? I think that's awesome. I think we should celebrate. We should celebrate? Yeah, with what? <laughs> well, you're not feeling good, so <laughs> you're not going to want to eat. That's pretty cool, huh? No, that's awesome. So what do you have to say to all those 200,000 people? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it. <laughs> what Lori has to say, thank you. But uh, that's cool. I'm excited. So Lori, you know, Lori, the whole time I've been sick has been avoiding me. 
Yeah, she has yeah. Because she didn't want to get sick, but now that I have a parasite, she knows that she couldn't, well, I think you could still pass the parasite. So I, just give me a kiss. No, you're not done <laughs> yet. You're not Come done. On. That thing's not dead yet. It's still alive in there. <laughs> Why? See, this is what's terrible. I mean, that is not terrible. How terrible are you that you want to give that nasty stuff? I'm not going to give your. I just want. I just want to show you some love. Love, love from afar. <laughs> this is how it is. This is how it is. All I want to do is share my parasite with you. Yeah. <laughs> and you won't even. No. No, thank you. Share something else. Not that. <laughs> She's so mean. Tell me in the comments. Is she wrong for Shut not up. wanting? <laughs> oh, you gotta love Lori. Okay, guys, it's so good to be back. I tell you what, I'm starting to feel good. It's like, you know when you feel bad and then you start to feel good, you feel even better than good? You know, so I still have a little ways to go, but I am, you know, my mental excitement is coming back and I just love it. So anyways, real quick mail time. I just, I got tons of mails from you guys and uh, I just love that. Thank you so much. Again, I always put my P.O. box in the description. Uh, I love the fact that you guys send me things. Uh, just, I, I'm not gonna make this long, just a handful of things that I, I want. Let's see what we got here. It's just, you know, it always is inspiring to hear from you guys. Uh, Brian, just wanted to write your letter, express to you how much you impact my life. Thank you so much. Uh, I've been watching Snake Bites for the longest time. Um, just six or seven years, I'm a huge fan, not just of the show, but the way you reach out to people who fear or dislike reptiles and snakes. Thank you. And this is from Nathan Guerrero. Thank you so much. And, and the thing I love about this is that he actually sent a bunch of pictures of his animals. I mean, look at that. All kinds of really cute pets. Uh, got leopard gecko pictures. And uh, I mean, this is awesome. Thank you, Nathan. This is this is really nice. I, I really, really appreciate it. This one, I, I, I opened up here a little bit earlier. And, and I thought it was really good. Again, just, uh, you know a picture of sunshine and 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 you know just says sunshine was a great snake she's definitely was my favorite you know we certainly have sunrise now my name is Arian and I'm 14 I, I I've been drawing for about four years but I'm still not good feel free to tell everyone you're good come on Arian that's an awesome picture always believe in yourself you know I mean this is a great picture I love it to death so thank you so much for this this means the world to me dear Brian how are you doing today big fan of yours for two years now I'm Makes me you know, your videos make me smile. Anyways, uh, drawing. I'm you know, so I'm not gonna read everything. You know, but you know, it's another drawing. I mean, how awesome is that? Look at how cute that is. I mean, you guys are so artistic. And and again, I really love when you send me your drawings because they're really cool. And I keep them all. Some I hang on the wall, and some I just kind of keep and look back on when I want to get a smile. So I'm not sure what this is. Uh, let me get my my handy knife that I love so much, uh, and we'll see what this is all about. Uh, it's, it's definitely had a better time. This is from uh, Norelia, and it's from Puerto Rico. So, okay, so from Puerto Rico, hello. There's something in here. It looks like maybe a necklace? Oh yeah, it is, a, it's a necklace. And look at that, it's actually a lizard. Uh, I wanna know more about this, like what this is all about. Congratulations for your awesome channel. My husband and my kids love it. Uh, we think about keeping a ball python. You can keep ball pythons in Puerto Rico and leopard geckos. Here's a humble gift that we made you. Uh, God bless you, thank you so much. Uh, you guys are great, you know, and this is the, the uh, Mercado family. Thank you guys so much. I, I promise I'll, I'll wear this necklace. That's freaking awesome. Thank you so much. Um, oh, look at that. Whoa, look at this. Look at that drawing. Someone actually, that's a lot of work that someone put into that drawing. I mean, that is freaking awesome. Thank you so much. And got a nice big letter here from them. And it's awesome. Just greetings from Finland. Thank you from Finland. Uh, this is uh, Satu Aspergen. So uh, good. Thank you. I, I really appreciate it, Satu. Drawing. You guys are awesome. Uh, last one, guys. And then I got, I got to get back to work. I mean, I could sit here all day, but uh, really, Miss Sunshine, I know. Me too. I really do but we have sunrise now um i can't put into words how much uh it means to me i mean that that means so much this is from your biggest fan uh slade gilmore and this is actually a picture of queen elizabeth 
So how awesome is that? You guys just brighten my life, you know? So thank you so much for everything you do. Um, sorry if I bored you guys with mail time there, but uh, it's I get excited when you guys send me things, so thank you. All right, so just a little update from me and my girl Bella here. Uh, I'm actually feeling pretty good. The medication didn't really affect me that bad. I've got a weird taste in my mouth. My stomach's a little upset, but I'm definitely on the uptick. So I'm really looking forward to, to being hopefully 99 or 100 percent tomorrow or the next day after such a long time you cannot imagine how exciting it is to finally be feeling good again and i want to bring that energy that i usually have back to the vlog so uh, i hope you guys are gonna appreciate that because i have been a little bit of a downer the last couple days regardless uh it was a really fun day it's good to be back to work i'm going to kind of shut it down a little bit early so we're not going to do anything tonight outside the shop if that's okay with you guys uh, i'm just going to finish up my work here a little bit try to go home and get some rest tonight so that tomorrow i can be full of energy and back to my normal self so i hope you guys have an amazing day and thank you so much for understanding about my day off and all those other things you guys are absolutely amazing and you're such a big part of my life and you know to everyone out there I mean I believe in you so much as well all your emails and messages about you know me inspiring you you guys inspire me and I know you guys can do great things if you just believe in yourself so regardless you have an amazing day I appreciate everything you guys do for me and don't forget to smash that like button and hit that notification bell for me and make sure to be kind to somebody I promise I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow.